I just finished up a 10 day water fast and I know what you're thinking, KP, how could you go without food for 10 days? If you got a chance to see my previous video on my first five day water fast that I ever completed, you'll know exactly why it's the number one showing video right now on my YouTube channel because the health benefits of fasting are incredible. And in today's video, I'm gonna go through exactly how to get started with fasting. We'll go through three simple steps before, during, and after so that you can be 100% prepared. I've done about a dozen water fasts now over the last couple of years, and I've got a pretty good routine together, but make sure that you get some medical advice before you do anything like this because you wanna know that you're doing what's best for your body. Your body is much more different than mine, but I'll show you exactly what works for me. All righty, let's go right into before your first fast. You're gonna wanna have about seven things ready and we'll go in depth into all seven of these so that you can be 100% prepared. You're ready to go without food. First off, decide how long you want your fast to be. I recommend something longer than three days, preferably five days, and that'll get you into your apothegy phase where you're starting to really feel the benefits of fasting. Also, that third day is the most difficult by far when it comes to fasting. We'll go through that when we get into the during phase. And the second thing to do is make sure that you plan your fast around holidays and special occasions. By that, don't ever fast on a holiday or a special occasion unless you really wanna go through some deep pain. You don't wanna be sitting there on Thanksgiving going like, I can't eat any of this, or at a birthday party going, God, that barbecue looks good. So make sure that you've got a good period of time where you can fast, feel comfortable about it, and not have to worry about being tempted. The third thing that you wanna do is you wanna tell your friends, family, coworkers, anybody that you can that you're gonna be fasting. Say you're gonna go on a five day fast, you wanna let them know, hey, look, I'm not gonna be eating for these five days, so don't invite me out to lunch. Please don't eat in front of me and by whatever means possible, help me whenever possible by giving me some support, that mental support that I know that everybody needs so that you can do it, you can make it through. You're gonna feel so much better when you come out of this. Make sure that you've put away all the food that you possibly can see. Whatever is within grabbing distance in your house, you wanna take everything off those countertops, you wanna put them away in a cupboard, someplace where it doesn't make it tempting to you. So make sure that you clean out everything and keep it out of arm's reach. Onto your beverages. This is what you're going to basically be sustaining yourself with during your entire fast. Any non-caloric beverages, except for a few, I highly recommend you're gonna obviously have water. You're gonna probably want either tea, coffee, or both of those as well. Make sure no sweeteners, no additional additives like milk or any of that stuff. Just basically what you get is black coffee or regular tea. Make sure that you don't have any diet sodas whatsoever or anything that possibly could have any additives, any ingredients more than that one or two things. Basically, you can have a little bit of herbs if you want in there that have zero calories, but no diet beverages whatsoever. Those will definitely affect you and you don't wanna put them in your fast. I highly recommend three different kinds of tea. The first one is green tea. By far my favorite, really great, tons of antioxidants. Number two is Pu Air Tea, a black tea, highly caffeinated, really gives you that jolt in the morning, more than coffee in my opinion. And number three is Valerian Tea. It's a little bit calming, just an herbal tea that's gonna slow you down, get you ready for sleep at night. You're probably gonna want that. Now, onto the supplement side, where you're gonna probably wanna have at least one electrolyte. That means you're gonna need to have a salt, magnesium, that type of thing that you're gonna have in the morning or in the evening makes you feel a ton better, and you're not gonna want those electrolytes depleted from your system over a long period of time. So make sure that you have that salt magnesium pair. Also, you're gonna wanna take vitamins. If you're currently taking vitamins, feel free to do that. That'll make you feel better. That'll make your life go a lot better along the entire fast as well. I also highly recommend ginger. I like ginger because it really starts to cure those hunger pains that you get over time. I gnaw on a little bit of ginger. I know it's disgusting, but makes me feel better, makes my stomach feel better as well, and it is great for you. 
And lastly, two to three days before you plan to start your fast, you're gonna to wanna to eat a little bit more healthy. If you're currently eating all kinds of garbage like I typically do, hamburgers, barbecue, pizza, chips, cookies, all that fun stuff, try to eliminate those as much as possible, especially the refined carbohydrates, anything that comes in a box or a bag. Try to eat a little bit more fruits, vegetables, clean your system out a little bit. Those refined carbs are gonna make you feel really, really hungry when you get into your fast. If you can keep yourself on salads or lean meats or even smoothies, something like that, at least a day or two before your fast starts, it's gonna go a lot better. You're gonna feel a lot better at the end. All right, now, what are you gonna expect during your fast? This is the fun part because that's when the pounds really start to come off. You can jump on the scale, you can see what's actually happening, and you'll feel great once it's over. The first day, you're gonna feel like a champ. Anybody can make it through the first 24 hours of fasting. Your body is going to be able to take everything that gets into it, all of those fluids that you're putting into it, hopefully the water, the tea, the coffee, the supplements, and you'll feel completely fine. You might feel a little bit hungry from time to time, but you can make it through the first 24 hours, no problem. Plus, what you're gonna do after you got through those first day of fasting is you're gonna hop on the scale and you're gonna see something amazing. Probably two to three pounds of body weight comes off after that first day. And that's all weight that you've lost because a lot of it is water weight. A lot of it is the other things that go into it, but it makes you feel a heck of a lot better. Also, pro tip, if you hop on the scale in the morning, you're gonna be much lighter than if you hop on the scale in the evening, especially after you've got out of bed, you've peed, you've got that little extra fluid out of you, and now you feel really light. You hop on that scale and you feel great. The second day is where you've got to prepare. You've got to prepare mentally, you've got to prepare physically because that's when it starts to get tough. 48 hours into a fast is when you start to feel like, why am I doing this? The mental challenges start to get there, your stomach starts to hurt, everything starts to feel a bit different. Make sure that you get outside, you get a little bit of exercise if you can, go for a walk, go for a light jog. If you exercise a lot, go to the gym, do some light weights, not what you typically would, but 50, 60% of that is fine. Just get yourself out of the house. Get yourself into nature, hopefully, that you can do that in the country or the area that you're in, and make sure that you have the opportunity to rest whenever possible. You might feel incredibly drained, you might need a nap. If you can take a nap, just a 30 minute power nap would be great or an hour if you've got that time. Make sure that you can get that additional rest. Your body might crave it. Also too, your sleep patterns might be off because your body's telling you and your mind's telling you, we need food and you're used to going out there getting what you want whenever you want to. So you're gonna think like, oh, I can go and grab food and I can make myself feel better, but you can't do that right now. So your body's thinking, I can't sleep until I eat something. And that's when you get thrown off completely and your mojo is gone. Also, when you're into the second day, make sure that you filter what it is that you watch. If you're watching normal television, you're gonna see ads. And 90% of those ads are gonna be for fast food, they're gonna be for some type of junk food, they're gonna be for something that you're gonna put in your body. And it's gonna make you feel horrible because you're gonna see these people leaven it up on television, eating their favorite foods, feeling so good about themselves, and you're gonna be sitting there with your tea in the corner thinking like, oh my God, as soon as this is over, I'm gonna go there and get my favorite thing. So be careful what you watch. If you can, watch a movie, watch something on YouTube, watch something that's gonna make you feel good, but not that television that's gonna show you those crazy food ads. On to the third day where this is gonna be the most difficult. Somewhere between 48 and 72 hours is typically where people just absolutely lose it. I know that was me the first time I went through a fast and I think it probably will be you too. If you make it through the third day though, you coast for the rest of the way. So make sure that you're mentally prepared for this. You're gonna have those hunger pains. You're gonna have everything that we talked about in the first two days and you're not gonna wanna go any further. You're gonna think to yourself, God, I really wanna go eat something, but don't. Once you've made it through the third day, you'll feel so much better. This is where I really start to take ginger. Some other herbs will make you feel better too if you wanna do that. You can research them online. You can see what's gonna make your stomach feel good, what's gonna make your body feel good. I gnaw a little piece of ginger with my tea, or I just put it in the tea myself, drink that up, and I feel so much better. My stomach starts to feel better. I'm not as hungry. I feel like I can make it through the day pretty well. 
the next thing that comes up, your senses are gonna be so heightened. Every smell is going to smell like the best thing ever. Your eyes are gonna be extremely cognizant of whatever's moving around you and what you see because we're hunter-gatherers. We're there to go find the next meal and that's gonna be really big as well. Your hearing's gonna be great. You're gonna be able to hear everything, what's going on around you, what's going on with the neighbors, everything that's happening as well. So just know that your senses are gonna be really heightened. Everything's gonna smell tremendous. Once you've made it through this third day, you're gonna be right into the fourth day. That's when the autophagy really starts kicking in. If you wanna know more about autophagy, please take a look at YouTube, take a look, ask your doctor, get some information about how well your cells start to rejuvenate. All those dead cells in your body, all of those organs that are no longer working the way they should, your liver, your kidneys, your heart even, your lungs, those cells are gonna start to rejuvenate. It's gonna make you feel really, really good maybe not during your fast as much as it will after but when you're in that fourth day and beyond that's when the benefits of fasting really start to kick in and you start to really notice that hey i'm not hungry anymore i can go a couple more days this is really cool i'm actually feeling pretty good about myself right now during this last part of your fast, make sure that you're doing the little things to keep your mind off of food. You're going out, you're getting some exercise, go for a walk, go for a jog, go to the gym, do some light weights, do those things that are gonna get your mind off of eating, make you feel good, get you exercise. Also too, gonna give you that ability to sleep much, much better in the evening. I like to read and meditate and just take a little bit of time to myself where I can spend an hour or two just feeling good, understanding that this fasting is going to really do wonders for my body, make me feel so much better about myself, and make me feel that I can do anything. One little tidbit that I didn't know when I got into fasting the first time is that in these fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth days, you might lose weight, you might not. So when you jump on the scale in the morning and you expect to see those two pounds come off or three pounds or whatever you've been doing for the last couple of days, that might not happen. There might not be any weight loss whatsoever. You have to be prepared for that. Sometimes the weight just doesn't come off for a day or two. But typically what I see is somewhere between one and two pounds come off just about every day. And this last 10 day fast that I just did, I went from my fat ass of 197 pounds, which was way too heavy for me. For those of you in a metric country, which is basically anywhere outside of the United States, that's about 90 kilos. And at the end of the fast, I was 178 pounds. That's right, 19 pounds came off. And that brought me down to right around 81 kilos. So about nine kilos of body fat just came off of me in 10 days. Talk about amazing. All right, let's get into what to expect at the end of your fast. First off, if you can help it at all, do not go shopping prior to your fast being over, especially to the supermarket. You're not gonna wanna see those foods. You're not gonna wanna see people buying all the fun things that you love to eat. So don't shop, if at all possible, until the very last day when you're ready to come off your fast. And so, what should you eat? That's a great question. There's tons of information about what's the best meal to break a fast with. I personally recommend bone broth, which sucks. I know it, it completely does. You're gonna wanna have pizza, hamburgers, french fries, whatever your favorite food is, but please don't. It makes you feel horrible. I one time broke a fast with tacos. I felt like my stomach was gonna explode. I felt horrible for two days. Make sure that you have something that's gonna be soothing, something that's gonna be relaxing. Whatever that is, you can make up your mind. I recommend bone broth, either chicken or beef or whatever you feel good with. I also too put a little bit of onions and a little bit of carrots inside. I felt that I needed to have some type of substance in there. The first time I broke a fast with just plain bone broth, it did taste amazing, like almost anything does when you're breaking a fast, but I like to have that substance in there. Those carrots and onions taste unbelievable. And for the first day after you break your fast, if you can just have that broth, your body will thank you for it. Also, what you want to know is that after you break your fast, your body's going through ketosis. If you don't know what ketosis is, please research it. It basically means that your body starts to burn fat, 
rather than burn carbohydrates and sugars. So right now, while you're breaking your fast, the longer you can go without carbs, without sugars, without those types of things, all of the fat continues to burn in your body. A huge benefit. So the longer you go, the more fat you're burning. On that second day after I've broken the fast, that's when I typically go with a little bit more in that broth. I put some potatoes, possibly garlic, and you know, other things that I might like that's gonna taste really good in there. And I have that for the second day. Then after that, lean meats are great. If you wanna have some chicken breast or some of those things that you typically eat, go ahead, go for it. The third day on, you're good, you're golden. But like I said, the longer you keep your body in ketosis, the more fat you're gonna burn. Take that into account when you're breaking any fast. One thing that I really loved in my first five day fast video was how many people commented on how their fast went or what they were expecting. And if you get a chance, if you fasted before or this is your first time, please leave a comment down below. And that would just make my day because I love hearing other stories from people all around the world that have used fasting to benefit themselves health wise and to make their lives a lot better. There's tons of pharmaceuticals out there. You guys know them, they claim to bring those pounds off but look at the side effects the only side effect that you get from fasting is a fatter wallet because fasting costs you zero it makes you feel great and when you're done at the end you know that your body can take it you can do it again also don't be afraid of fasting the longest fast on record was over a year and the person lost 200 plus pounds so if somebody can fast for over a year you're not gonna die by fasting, keeping yourself from food for five days. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also to subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll go ahead and post that video to the five day original fast right there. So go ahead and click on it if you haven't seen it before. You'll get all the benefits that I saw from fasting plus a day by day analysis you can see as I go through those first five days. In case you're nervous, that'll help you out. Thanks for watching.